Bounty Hunter was released back into Old School RuneScape on the 24th of May 2023. Two weeks later, they added an earning potential system, EP for short, in which you can gain, in which you gain extra loot potential by risking at least 50k and having a target inside. You'll then get 1% EP for every 30 seconds you're in the dangerous area with that target assigned. And if you die to your target, your EP will go up by 10%. And once you reach these thresholds, down below 20% EP, you can get a crate worth 50k, 30%, 100k, and so on, all the way up to 100%, which is worth 500k loot. And then a couple of weeks later, Jagex realized that, okay, yeah, no, this is crash rewards. So they have buffed it. So if any of you opened your crates early, you will have been missing out on this extra loot. Um, I've saved quite a few of mine up and I'm going to open them in a second. Basically, in these crates now, you have a chance to get an extra loot reward alongside your like basic 50k worth loot um, of one of the statues that they have at Rev Caves. So these are 500k, 1 mil, 2 mil, 4 mil, 8 mil, and 16 mil statues. So depending on how common these are, these crates can now be worth a decent bit of loot. I'm going to open mine in a second to see how much they're worth, and see... We won't have any idea how rare they are. There's no data on that yet. They haven't given us it. But hopefully opening 53 of these, we can see. And make a bit of money. Is Bounty Hunter worth it? Is it going to make back all of the money I've lost from all my deaths? Who knows? Right, so I have been doing Bounty Hunter for a while. They've released Bounty Hunter crates uh, in their new EP system. And I've managed to collect myself 53 of these. Let's have a no. Well, let's open up and see what the loot is. Um, they start off five at a time. Probably keep all of the loot in my invent time. Oh, it comes in the chat box and shows you what you're getting anyway. So you'll be able to track it here. Okay. Four mil statue already in the fourth crate. That is pretty good. Okay, this actually might be decent. On, where's the next one? I wonder if these these probably count to the rev collection log. You can probably cl um, complete all the statues from the log um, without even doing revs. Be quite cool. Uh, it's seeming quite rare, although these are the lowest tier crate I'm opening at the moment. I'm opening tier ones. Um, you get them when you have twenty percent EP, and then you've got to kill a target to get them. So these have the worst drop rate of the statues and all the rest will have increased rate. I don't know how many I started with these. I'll look back in the video later to see, but yeah, so far it's pretty much a 50k standard loot from that. And I think it uses 20% EP to get one of these crates, so you're only getting ash, some blighted restores and that from all of these. So that's probably going to start adding up now. And we've got our second totem and Smallest one. Oh, no, not the smallest one. That's one mil statue. All right, the last one of the tier one crates. Let's go on to see them tier twos. These are dropped when you get 30% EP. The loot from that is nothing good. These will be uh, now basic base value of 100k to the next tier up. And the tier up, tier three, will be 150k. So, decent stack of cash. Although it's still, the time it takes you to earn all of these crates, it just really doesn't seem worth it at the moment. 150k from that one. Oh, these are the tier 3 crates now. Have I got any more tier 3s? That's all gone, right? Tier 4 crates, we've got 6 of these. Bring them all out. Ah, uh, they've taken so long to get. And there is, there's just nothing good. No, no statues in all of them. 
Oh, this is this is honestly. I was expecting like get a load of statues. So far, only getting two from this all just makes it not feel worth in slightest. I think possibly the EP system still needs a further buff, depending on how rare these are, because it's still not going to be good money at all. Last couple of crates of these tier fives. Oh my god. Tier six crate. No statue from that either. I don't have a tier seven crate. I have not managed to get one. I've skipped past it because I couldn't get the target kill in time, but we have a tier eight. And that is also trash. And the tier nine, the best chance of getting a statue. No statue. <laughs> so 54 crates opened. Two statues. Oh, it's, it's, it's a nice little boost you get, but it just still seems so rare to get them. I mean, we've got a lot of um, blighted supplies this time. They've increased the amount you get from these of each crate. So pretty much one mil of all of those supplies. Super restores to add them to that. An extra three million. 12 mil total without the statues. And then the little bit of bonus from the statues gets me to 17.7 mil from the 53 crates. And if you are wondering how long it took to get these crates, so am I. Um, I think I've only opened one crate total in the time Bounty Hunter's been out. That was a tier 9 one, the max one I opened on stream a few days ago. That gave me 700k worth of loot with no statue in it either. So overall, EP system, how does it work? So you've got 1% EP for each 30 seconds that you have a target and you're in the crater risking above 50k. However, all the time you're stood around getting waiting for a target, that doesn't count towards your EP. Um, and if you target then, if you get a target and it skips you, then you're back at square one and you're waiting again. So it takes so long to get this EP up. Um, if you die to a target, you'll get 10% EP. But this can only be done four times um, before you actually claim it. So you can only get 40% from dying. And on top of this, if you die too quickly, so if you die, you can only get EP once every 15 minutes. You can only get an extra 10% from dying once every 15 minutes. And this means that if you're like me who dies, I think I died six times in like 10 minutes at one point. That's only given me 10% EP for all those deaths. I'm losing all this money. Um, it's good that they've buffed the supplies. Does it cover the supply cost for fighting? No, I've used far more worth than that um, in all my fights. Each crate on... Right, so let's, let's, let's calculate it for if I wasn't counting any of the deaths. Um, we'll go for like the lowest value crate. So if we say we need to get 20% EP just from having a target, that'll make it 10 minutes per crate or 530 minutes all these crates, which is... Just under nine hours of standing there with a target to get this two mil an hour. Are we saying? I, I don't know if it's when when you factor in how long it takes to get a target and then target skipping you and then banking in between targets when you're not gaining AP. Overall, it probably takes double that time. This has probably taken me eighteen hours for all the EP and getting this. Which I mean, it's a little bonus when you're PKing, but this is not not good enough at all. Unless I've just been really unlucky with the statues. Who knows? They could be a lot better drop rate, and I've got unlucky. But in my opinion, it's until we see the numbers, we we don't know. But I think this still is going to need a buff. That just doesn't seem good enough. Let me know what you think in the comments, and maybe they will buff them again, and I'll go collect some more crates and get more. Ah, oh, it's going to take so long.